For many of us around Boston, graduation time is about prestigious schools and celebrity speakers, but it's also about the accomplishment of students. Among those being highlighted once again are graduates of state colleges for academics, community engagement, and future contribution to the economy. Among 29 who shine is our guest, a recent graduate of Bunker Hill Community College, Mohammed Sidime. Thank you much for being with us, Mohammed. Thank you for having me. First of all, uh, you are uh, an immigrant to the United States as well here. Um, what's the transition been like for you? It was a little tough when I came, especially when you come from a, uh, a hot country. So I, I arrived in December, so it was a little bit rough, but, you know, we get used to it as time goes on. Well, you're also um, switching from one kind of education system to another. You were educated mostly in West Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, What's the difference? So I think the, dis the difference first is, um, you know, the way uh, we are taught here. So in my country, for instance, uh, uh, teachers, they spend a lot of time with you, with students in classrooms. Like we can spend like six hours a day with a same, the same professor. But here, for instance, the professor is there for maybe half an hour, uh, no, I, one hour and a half. And, uh, you know, the rest, you do the rest on your own. You go to the library, do your own research. But he is just, a, you know, a guide for you. So that's the difference, the major difference that I can point out. What about when you started at Bunker Hill Community College? Uh, what was that like for you? Actually, it was a little bit difficult because I was struggling uh, with my English. And um, I, st I started, you know, going to clubs, you know, and talking to people that... Uh, went through the same situation like me and they they were actually you know friendly and they were helping me to get around it wasn't it was a little bit difficult but I, when i started meeting those people they showed me their directions and they what they did when they came to so i started to get accustomed to the climates. Well, you, you were studying mainly accounting, a lot of math and accounting. I remember when I was studying math, uh, I had trouble keeping up. Teachers were talking fast. Uh, yeah. uh, did, you, did you have that problem? Yeah, I had, I did, I did. Sometimes I was in class when the professor says something like that, and I would be the only one saying what. But I was surprised to see that other people were you know, comfortable. But it was, I went through the same situation as well, but you know, it get better. Why did you want to study accounting? Actually, uh, I'm, I like accounting, to be honest. Is I understand it. I'm not maybe a genius in accounting, but you know, I like the way accounting, the logic behind accounting. And uh, like I said, uh, I started taking some accounting classes since high school. So that's where I fell in love with accounting. And, uh, this is BNN News, and we're talking with Mohammed Sidime from Bunker Hill Community College. Uh, uh, Mohammed, you didn't just study uh, you know, being a bean counter there. You, you got involved in things like student government. Uh, what was that like for you? It was a great experience, uh, you know, being the voice of the student on campus and trying to uh, bring up ideas to uh, better the student life on campus was one of my motivations. And I was part of the Board of Trustees of Bunker Hill, and uh, uh, it was a great experience. I really enjoyed it. What, what kind of things did you want to make better? So, um, for I mean, the day-to-day -day, uh, business uh, at school, like uh, uh, making sure that the students, uh, first of all, uh, we have like little stuff that we were dealing with, such as, you know, uh, fixing up some stuff, in maybe the Wi-Fi or, you know, those kind of things that, I mean, we, we had the opportunity to talk to the right people and, you know, they listened to us and stuff like that. And, and those were the kind of things that we wanted to uh, work on. And, uh, and there is not like a, a standard of problems, you know. We listen to various type of problems. Some, there are certain tough stuff that we can deal with but there are certain things that we cannot because, you know, students, you know, ask about a lot of stuff that we cannot, you know, deal with. I want to ask you also about, about mentoring. You're, you're going to be doing it or maybe you've started already? A student, a being a student mentor? Yes. Yeah, I'm still a student mentor. What's that been like for you? So being a student mentor, actually, uh, that was uh, one of the things that I liked because when I came, like I told you, uh, 
I was welcomed by student mentors and, uh, and there is a department uh, at my school there called student activities that actually uh, it is a program you know they help new students when they came uh, so it was a way for me to give back because when I came I was also helped so it was an opportunity for me to also get involved and then uh, help new students when they come because I knew what I went through when I came so yes well, if you keep studying and counting, uh, you could eventually be a very, very important figure in management of an organization. Uh, is that something you think you'd like to do? Yes, uh, I, w I would love to do that, uh, being like, yes, a manager. Uh, be because when, when I graduated from high, uh, uh, college in Conakry, I, uh, I was interning in a, a company where I was the youngest in the company, so I experienced uh, people trying to, you know, put me down because I was a little bit young. So these uh, leadership opportunities, like, helped me, you know, to a little bit develop my leadership skills, so that when I, you know, I work in a company, I can, you know, um, you know, take one of those positions and, you know, and do it. Well, you've already been recognized as, as a kind of a leader uh, among the 29 uh, yeah. of the best and brightest here. Uh, you, you get up there with the governor. How did that feel? It was, it was a great uh, accomplishment and standing there with the governor, recognizing us as, you know, uh, outstanding student. It was really a really good thing, a really good feeling. So I, I felt well. Well, thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you so much. Mohamed Sidime from Bunker Hill Community College.